All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to talk to you about noise suppression or removing background noise from your microphone using Discord's built-in crisp feature. So if you've been using Discord for the last few years, you probably are at least aware of the fact that this got added to Discord, but you might not be using it yet. So to use crisp, all you have to do is go down to the bottom left-hand corner of your Discord window when you're connected to a voice channel, and there's a little waveform button here with an X through it that's right next to the disconnect button. Go ahead and give that a click, and this is the noise suppression system powered by the newer, fancier technology called Crisp, which does a nice job of identifying sounds in your background like lawnmowers, barking dogs, and fans, and tries to remove them. You can just go ahead and enable it by clicking on this button right here, and it's turned on and ready to go when you're talking to your friends, and it works for both voice activation and also for push to talk. And you can click on this button here if you want to hear what it sounds like to see if it's removing a particularly pesky background noise that you might not even be aware is there. And that's pretty much it. It should dynamically remove noise from your microphone Although mileage may vary depending on what microphone you have, and if your microphone already has noise canceling technology, it might double down and start like nuking your voice and making it difficult for anyone to hear you at all. So just be aware of that too. So to adjust the settings for Crisp, if you're curious what kind of settings you can manipulate to kind of get a better experience, you can go down to the bottom left hand corner to this gear and open your user settings, and then down under voice and video, down at the bottom here, you should see this big Crisp logo for the Crisp technology. You can click on this link here to get more information about how it works and what it does. And this is sort of your noise cancellation section. This does things like echo cancellation, which is on by default for pretty much everybody on Discord. And then normally when you're using noise suppression, everybody has the standard noise suppression, the old one on, by default when they start using Discord. Crisp is the newer one that's a bit fancier, and it offers a much more robust system to remove things like fans and all those other weird noises that might be in your house from like clickety-clack of something upstairs that's not supposed to be working right to even the sound of a beeping fire alarm that needs to have its batteries replaced, because that's something that drives me up the wall. And then you can change it from crisp to standard or no noise cancellation at all if you feel like this is what's causing distortion or your mic to cut out at any time. You don't even have to turn it off first. You can do this live while you're talking to people inside of the voice call. So I think I'm going to leave crisp on and see how nice it is. Similarly, you have a few other settings depending on what things you have enabled in Discord. Advanced voice activity. This is a system that if you're using voice detection should already be on by default, and it uses an advanced system to detect your voice and to identify it as opposed to other noises in your house so your microphone doesn't get set off when, like, say, your dog upstairs barks or your significant other comes home and makes a phone call in the living room. That sort of thing shouldn't set it off, just your voice. And then you also have automatic gain control, and what that does is it tries to make sure that the audio level that your friends are hearing is at a nice, hearable, understandable level, and it's not too quiet and definitely not too loud, so it's blowing out everyone's eardrums and hurting their ears. And that's pretty much about it. Like, there's not a lot of stuff to say about it. It's one of those systems that there's not a lot of fine-tuning. It either works or it doesn't. And if you turn on Crisp and your friends tell you that they can't really hear you anymore, or they're not always getting your messages or your voice isn't always activating your microphone, then you might want to turn it off and go back to standard or go back to no noise suppression at all. Your mileage may vary. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a look at how to enable crisp noise cancellation or noise suppression. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.